what is going on guys welcome back to another sterilization video it has been a long time since i've done one of these and today i'm working with some viney philodendron so let me show you all right so this is the second time i'm recording this so kind of the lighting is a little low now because it's getting late at, at night but uh, i'm working with some uh, viney philodendrons for example i have this uh, um, philodendron brazil and what i'm doing essentially is taking the ends like right here i take in the very ends of the grow um excuse the uh fireworks uh, it is 4 of july so i hope you have a, a happy uh, independence day uh but anyways so uh, this is what i'm taking here so i just take the very last uh grow of the plant and like this one that is still closed there are some that are open like let me see if i can find one so you can see that this one is already open and this one is a lot more difficult to sterilize because uh, it's a lot dif it's more difficult to get inside here because you you have to remove this part of the leaf and to be able to sterilize this part or well, actually well if i open this i can actually take this part right here where this is the new growth and basically and this is what I'm going to, I will be sterilizing. So I already took some, um, cutting some explants from this plant. As uh, this is the second time I record them because I messed up the audio. But anyways, uh, let's go back to the lab. All right, I'm back on the lab and I'm sorry, it's very loud outside with all the fireworks. But anyways, so the plants are already in the sterilizing solution. Uh, so essentially the sterilizing solution is, um, 2% bleach so I have um, 200 milliliters of water and 4 milliliters of uh, bleach and I also added a few drops of uh, dish detergent and this is where I'm where I am um, this is my sterilizing solution and I'm using a magnetic steer because it makes everything a lot easier for me so I don't have to constantly shake in by hand uh, this is a lot easier uh, if I'm doing multiple um, um, flats at once and may use the uh, the shaker but I, I like to use the magnetic steel if I only using one plant now I know uh, some people may say that this may hurt uh, uh, damage the plants so I have it on a very low setting so this is not um, too harsh on the plants but anyways I already set up a timer for one hour that's going to be my my um, time that I'm going to be sterilizing these plants and then I'll be right back all right it has been an hour now so i'm going to take the explants out of the bleach and then i'm going to rinse them using three percent hydrogen peroxide you can also use uh well most people use um sterile water and rinse um, the plants three times i like to use hydrogen peroxide uh it's not only uh, hydrogen peroxide not only sterile but it is also helps with uh, further um cleaning the plant so i want to take this and pour it i just want to pour all the um, oh that may be a little bit more difficult uh, one second use my forceps to stop them to to stop them All right, there we go. So now I have my uh, explants here, back on the magnetic stirrer. And now I just want to place some um, hydrogen peroxide. Not much, just enough to uh, rinse the plants. All right. So um, in the past, I had used uh, hydrogen peroxide and um, white steel vinegar. This solution makes um, a very strong oxidizer and a very good sterilizing solution. I don't have vinegar at the moment, so I'm only using a hydrogen peroxide, uh, but you can also use vinegar. So you, can, you may have seen some of my previous videos I have done in the past. Um, but anyways, now I'm going to give them another um, 
I mean, they, they still look good. So I'm going to give them 10 minutes on this solution and then I'll be right back. All right, it has been 10 minutes and it is time to move the plants into the tissue culture media. For the tissue culture media, I'm going to be using the same one I'm using for the other philodendrons. I use a um, full MS media with a um, with a one milliliter per liter of BA and 0 0.1 milliliters per liter of NAA. All right, so I just going to take one on each container. Now I'm not uh, I'm not cutting the edges. We're using the um, using the uh, very mild bleach solution. I don't I don't have the need to um, to cut the edges of the plants as they are not as severely damaged as if you're using a higher dose of um, a bleach solution. So I just take my plant. Just one per container. I just give it like 10 seconds on the uh, glass bead sterilizes on the forceps to re-sterilize the forceps every time. There we go. Now something that when I'm sterilizing or rinsing using hydrogen peroxide, if the media has um, gel and gum, the, there is a potential that it may precipitate. It may uh, turn the uh, media into liquid. Um, that's something that it happens when you use uh, hydrogen peroxide. There is not really a big deal with that. Um, next time I'm going to be uh, moving to a new media, so there is not really a big deal. So I have a four, five. There we go. So that was a pretty quick and easy. Let's see. All right, there we go. So that was a very quick and easy. So I just have um, my uh, Philodendron Brazil, one per container. You can see right here. I use the hydrogen peroxide um, to rinse the media. I didn't have to um, cut any of the edges. That's the advantage of using a very mild uh, bleach solution is that I don't have to remove the edges. I mean, if you still want to do it, go ahead and do it. Uh, but uh, in for my experience or doing this, uh, using this method or like a very low um, percentage of bleach, uh, but uh, for a lot longer time, I don't need to cut the edge of the of the explant. Um, now something is that now that I use the hydrogen peroxide to rinse the the explants, I may get some precipitation on the media where the media is um, is solid and it may turn into liquid, but that's not really a a big deal. Now this happens with uh, gel and gum. It doesn't happen with agar, but with you, if you're using gel and gum or gelsen, uh, it may precipitate the media, but. Anyways, that's pretty much everything. I just want to le let this uh, grow for um, a few weeks and see how they do. Uh, hopefully, they do well. I think I think they sterilize. I have sterilized these plants for uh, many times using this method, and I have a very good result. So I'm very confident on these plants. So I'm going to be making some um, updates on potentially on, over on TikTok. So make sure to check our TikTok um, where I'm going to be. Uh, giving up updates on some of these plants and some other other plants and experiments and working here at the lab. Well, anyways, I hope you have enjoyed it. And make, sure, make sure to check Plant Cell Technology for any, um, for all your plant tissue culture needs. And then I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these tissue culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.